Okay, what we're going to do today, I'm just going to show you a website where you can actually uh, do your Visual Basic coding. Okay, so the website is actually called uh, Rex Tester. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to type in Rex Tester. You can type rextester.com. And if you go to that site, uh, it looks like this. Okay, so once you get there, you can have many, many different languages. So if you click this button, you can see there's a list of languages that you can use. Okay, so then one we are interested in is Visual Basic. So I'm just going to click Visual Basic. Okay, so there you go. So once you click on Visual Basic, you can see your Visual Basic there. And you can see there's lots of libraries there as well. So you can do lots of, you know, really good things. Okay, so these are your libraries here. And then, of course, at the bottom part, you have your, like, your module ends there as well. Okay, but the main part of your program is where your main program is, where you have, you have your sub-main. Okay, this is your sub-main. And then you have your sub-end. And this is where your main program is, so you can see. And you can see your, your if you're familiar with Visual Basic, you can see your console.write line and hello world there. Okay. Now, the next thing is, what I want to show you is, there's a button here at the bottom. It says run button there. If you click on it, okay, so whenever you actually finish your program, when I finish your code, you click this button. And here's your user screen at the moment. Okay, that's where you will come. Okay, I don't like the user screen at the bottom. I like, okay, I'm going to change it to horizontal. Okay, so if I click, okay, now my user screen is on this side now. Okay, so when I run this button, you can see the results that are coming here. It's working now. It's coming. There you go. There's a hello world there. It's on the right hand side. So you can do your coding here. Okay, so I'm just going to change the message now to something slightly different. Just going to say, hello, JU student. Okay. Okay, JU students. Now, if I run this program again, you can see uh, on the right-hand side, you can see your output there. Okay, you can do other stuff as well. Okay, so I'm just going to create a, a simple variable. I'm going to call it dim. Okay. I'm just going to call it dim x as integer. Okay. And I'm just going to get rid of the messy comment. Basically, I don't really need, need the comment. So I'm just going to create a, a simple loop, for example, just to show you an example. So if you, for x is equal to 0 to 10, and then I'm going to complete the end the loop here. Just type in next. Okay, so the loop is complete. If I just press the run button, you can see. Okay, it's working, it's coming. Okay, there you go. You got JU student. Hello, JU student. Okay, 11 times. So it's actually working. You can do all, you can do your, all your coding. Okay, uh, the, the, you can, when it comes to con console or read line, you know, having user input, it, it gets a bit complicated. So, uh, you don't really you know want to use that at the moment but other than that you can do everything all your coding here is no problem